What up, y'all? It's the word. Come on in. Come on in. Just out here enjoying nature. Y'all hear them birds? Just out here enjoying nature a little bit. I was out this morning cutting the grass. Edging the bushes. You know, just doing some yard work. Just sitting out here thinking, man. Whole lot going on in the world. Just be observing, just sitting back watching. Man, my beard look good. I just got a glance at my beard on the screen. Y'all see that lining? Boy, kind of nice. I did this myself. And that blackness, that's, you see that blackness, that's real too. No dye, no, no Beijing, no, no paint in my face. All natural right here. No filter neither. You see it? <laughs> anyway, for real though. Let's get serious for a minute. Hope everybody enjoying a Friday. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God I'm forgiven too. Man, I'm just sitting here thinking about how good God is. We got a good God. We serve a good God, y'all. An amazing God. You ever just take time to look at creation and just look all look at all the different beautiful creatures out here, the different colors in creation. You know it's funny that some people don't believe in God. It's weird too because I believe that it take more faith to not believe than it actually do to believe like who else sit the sun and the stars and everything else up there and it just sits at the perfect distance so it don't burn everything here up that can't happen from a big bang that's from a creator and plus the creation theory the theory of God makes more sense to me than the theory of evolution. <laughs> you know, so for an example, as human beings, they say we're made in the image of God, right? Which is truth. I believe that we're made in the image of God. But I believe it because we're able to build and create because we were made by a creator. <laughs> Everything that we see in this world that was created by man is only possible because we are made in the image of our Father, who is the ultimate creator. Everything from the trees, the sun, the stars, the clouds, the moon, everything you can imagine, right? It's only because we were made after his image. We create because we were made by a creator. Makes perfect sense to me. Perfect sense. But I guess that depends on where do you go for truth. Where do you go for truth? Me personally, I go to the source. I go to God for truth. I go to the word of God for truth. The B-I-B-L-E, the Bible. Basic instructions before leaving earth. You don't got to believe that's the truth. I don't even try to debate nobody anymore. Because I realize that. Everybody's not searching for truth. Number one. And number two, I can't change nobody. None of us can change nobody. Only God can change a human being. And the only person that can learn is somebody who want to be taught. And if you want to be taught, you got to first humble yourself, right? You know, most human beings, we're so full of pride. Right now, we, especially when it comes to the internet, social media, we just want to, we just care about looking right. We don't care if we write. We just want to be entertained. 
So where do you, where do other people go for truth? Because I can tell you right now, if you go to your feelings for truth, you're going to be dead wrong. You're going to be led astray, bamboozled. <laughs> Our feelings change all the time. If you go to social media for truth, they call it the web for a reason. The internet, the world wide web. Because it's a, it's a web of confusion. It's just people stuck in this web of no movement. It's like the it's like the real it's like the poster child for blind leading the blind. If you look up blind leading the blind in the dictionary, it should have the word internet. <laughs> Right under there because you'll read somebody, you'll read a post where somebody drop straight truth. And then you go up under the comments and you see thousands and thousands of comments of people either mocking or laughing or combating that truth with foolishness. I mean foolishness. Flat out foolishness. So, so where do people go for truth? Or do we believe that there is no truth? Because we've been sold that as well. Live your truth, your personal truth. It's like whatever we think we believe is true. If we don't believe it, we don't subscribe to it, then it ain't true. Because I said it ain't true. But is that really true? Nah. <laughs> I hate to bust your bubble, but nah. Nah. Another thing that makes sense to me why there's evidence that there's a creator opposed to no God or evolution is human beings have laws. We have laws on earth. We have laws, y'all. The police have laws. Government rules laws. We have laws that we have to abide by. And if we don't abide by these laws... There's consequences. You get where I'm going? Now, if we have laws, the created ones, the creatures, you don't think that the creator have laws? Remember, we're made in his image. In his likeness. Remember that. Remember that. I ain't doing nothing but just trying to drop some jewels on y'all real quick give you something to think about because somewhere along the line we are starting to believe that we can do anything we want in this world say whatever we want to say and there will be no consequences I'm here to tell you you're wrong about that you're wrong about that and if you think that you can do that and there's no consequences and if you're willing to bet your soul on that, then go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. Go ahead and keep mistreating people, talking crazy to people, hurting people, doing everything that you're doing. You know that, that, that truth that I live by, that word of God, that B-I-B-L-E, it tells us that you will be accountable for every careless word that you speak. Let's translate, take that up to 2023 and include, put a comma there and include also words that you type. However you communicate, has a cause and effect on other people. You will be accountable for every careless word that you speak and how you treat people. How you treat people matters. Believe it or not. Do you know if you live this life thinking and believing that there's no rules, you can do whatever you want, say whatever you want to say, Get up and move however you want to move. 
You know what they call that in Satanism? Real question. Y'all want to know what they call that in, in devil worship? Satanism? The occult? They call that do what thy will. That was the law of Alex de Crowley, who called himself Satan, who called himself the beast. Do whatever you want. Do whatever makes you feel good. This is the world we living in. I ain't doing nothing right now, but just trying to drop some jewels on y'all. I'm just trying to knock on a few of y'all hearts, a few of y'all minds, slap you across the head, tell you to wake up, man. Wake up. Pay attention to what's going on out here. Pay attention to what's going on in the world. Because while you talking bad about the book that I believe in, the book that I study, the book that I read, anybody who called themselves a believer in Christ, while you talking bad about that book and you getting your knowledge from another book that man wrote, you got your faith in some. You got your faith in some too. You got your faith in somebody. Whoever wrote that book, right? Because at the end of the day, if there's a book, man wrote it. Right or wrong. If there's something you study and you got some knowledge from, man wrote it. You don't know that person's beliefs or agendas. But the word of God only makes sense to the people who have the spirit of God. And the people who have humbled themselves enough to ask God to take the blinders off my eyes so I can see. So I can see, Lord. I can see how you see. I can hear how you hear. Show me what you want to show me. Human beings, we're funny. We think that we can't believe anything or subscribe to anything unless it makes sense to us. We feel like we got to know something first before we believe in it. We got to know every little detail about it before we believe it and understand it. But let me ask you this. If you knew every little detail about God and understood him, will he be God? <laughs> will he be God? If you knew everything, that's why it's that's why it says without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because some things you're just going to have to trust them. And then there are some things that's not meant for us to know ever. And there's some things that's not meant for us to know right now. What I mean by that is the closer you get to the Lord at certain levels, to your knowledge and spirituality, then he reveals things to you. He showed things to you at certain times in your life when you really need it, when you really can appreciate it. You understand what I'm saying? But human beings, including, including so-called men and women of God who call themselves theologians because it's a human flaw, to have pride and knowledge. We think if we don't understand something, if we can't comprehend it, then it, it, it must not, this must be a mistake. It must don't belong here. And in my personal opinion, that's how we got some of these translations of the biblical text. Because some people couldn't explain the supernatural happenings that was going on. You understand? We live in a big world, man. And I'm going to tell you guys, the spiritual side of this world, the things that you can't see with your natural eye, is way more real than what we experience and what we see on a day-to-day -day basis. Because the spiritual impacts and influence the physical. The 
Straight up. Straight up. But anyway, man, I'm just out here chilling. Enjoying this fresh air, enjoying nature. I just wanted to jump on here and holler at y'all real quick. I'm going to go back to uh, enjoying this, this cool breeze out here, this beautiful weather out here. Y'all hear that? Wind blowing. Hear them birds. Y'all crazy if y'all think ain't no guy. I know for a fact I wouldn't even be here today without, without the Lord. I'd have been in some situations. And I know who I am today. People who hang around me and be around me and knew me from way back then, they knew who I was and they know who I am today. That's another amazing thing about God, right? transform a person from the inside out make you a whole new creation <laughs> yeah salute to the Yahshua the Christ Jesus the Christ enjoy y'all day man 100